Hi, my name is Kiran. I am 25 this year. I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia in December of 2010. Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm 44 years old this year. I was diagnosed with a very rare acute myeloid leukemia. So the medical terms of the disease is plastic plasma citroid dendritic cell neoplasm. My name is Dixon. I'm 48 years old this year. I was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, AML, in December 2015. I had to proceed on with chemotherapy. The treatment protocol is called HKSG and it includes three phases of chemotherapy ending with a stem cell transplant. So the hematologist told me that since it was a very rare case, there is no track record of a proper treatment. The only cure for this disease is a bone marrow transplant. Dr. Huang from FGH has recommended me to go through three rounds of chemo while in the meantime trying to source for a donor so that I can go through a BMT which is a bone marrow transplant. And fortunately, my brother uh, stem cells is a perfect match to me. I am the only child in my family. I don't have siblings that can donate their stem cells to me. Singapore General Hospital, SGH, uh, actually coordinated a search for a bone marrow match. And after two months of waiting, I actually found a bone marrow match, a 40 plus year old woman from Taiwan. Her stem cells were a full match for mine. What happened is that for a bone marrow transplant, first of all, uh, I have to be isolated into the ward. My immune system was be at the lowest point. Secondly, will be in the side effect of the chemo. For a bone marrow transplant, they have to go through what we call induction chemo, whereby it was the worst chemo among all the chemos I've experienced. You have ulcer in the throat, you have fever all the time, and you can't eat, and sometimes it's very difficult to drink. So that is uh, how I experienced it during that one month stay. I experienced for the first time in my life that I was somewhere between life and death. And that feeling is something that I would not wish upon anyone. Right after the transplant, I thought everything would be back to normal. The advice was that the immunity will be very low, so we have to be careful. But I started exercise again three months after the transplant. Truth to be told, I caught a pneumonia immediately. The recovery process actually went smoothly. However, 15 months after the bone marrow transplant, I went for my routine checkup and uh, sadly to say I was diagnosed with relapse of my acute uh, myeloid leukemia. So I have to be admitted immediately for another three rounds of chemo. I was also diagnosed with some bacterial infection over two of my legs. As a result, I was bedridden for close to two months. So I have medical review every two weeks initially, post-transplant. The whole year after transplant, I had five pneumonias. I was actually diagnosed with graft versus host disease. It's basically a post-transplant disease. Basically, we have a new immunity system from our donors, so our body will react to it. Basically, the immunity from the donors was overwhelming, so it's attacking my body. I actually had to see many specialists, one of the specialists being uh, the gynecologist because my ovaries are actually non-functional right now so I actually am on hormone replacement therapy. Because of that, I actually became a vegan and I found out that I can engage in more activities. I also fall sick less. My advice to newly diagnosed patients, take the positive attitude of fear not. It is a journey that you have to pull through and also an advice for the caregiver. Take note of the emotional and habitant change of a patient. The patient will require a lot of care, especially during this period of time. My advice for newly diagnosed patients, be open to any treatment that the doctor has prescribed to you. Keep yourself motivated. Whatever you have gone through this tough journey, the bright side of the journey will be waiting for you at the end of the time. This whole entire cancer experience actually taught me many valuable lessons. In fact, I see it as a gain for me. First of all, I just want to give you guys a hug. Always have hope and always have this faith in the fact that there is a better tomorrow for you.